Hi everyone, welcome to another week of Check It Out, where I recommend titles that you can learn from, connect with, and explore. This week's title is Make Your Bed, Little Things That Can Change Your Life and Maybe Change the World by Admiral William McRaven. This book is a nonfiction or self-help book, which I know is kind of an unusual choice, but I really wanted to throw in some nonfiction titles for you guys um, because I think it's really good to read about human experiences in real life. Um, this is a short little book. You can see I think it's less than 200 pages long. Um, pretty easy read. This book is the result of a graduation speech given by Admiral McRaven in 2014 to a graduating class from the University of Texas in Austin. Um, that speech is actually in its entirety at the end of the book, where you can actually read the whole speech. Um, but what he's done is he's breaking down, broken down the speech into individual parts, and those parts have become little chapters. And each chapter focuses on a life lesson, and the life lesson um, coincides with the story and kind of how he learned that lesson. Um, a lot of it has to do with his Navy SEAL training, um, which I thought was really interesting to learn about. It's kind of something I don't know a whole lot about. Um, so it was great to kind of learn more about that part. Um, I like this book. Uh, the title, Make Your Bed, is from the first little life lesson that he gives. It's the first chapter. And it talks about how making your bed in the morning isn't just about making your bed. Um, when he got up in the morning as a Navy SEAL candidate, the first thing he had to do was get dressed and make his cot. And both of those had to be to exacting standards. He had to look good and he had to present a well-made cot. And there were exacting standards that had to be met. And that had to be hospital corners. It had to be no wrinkles. It had to be a pillow at a 90 degree angle. Um, the bed cover had to be folded at the bottom of the bed. There were all these you know, steps. Um, so it wasn't, what he learned is that it wasn't just about making, learning to make a good bed. It was about learning how to accomplish a task first thing in the morning and feel really proud that you've done something um, well, you know, right, right at the beginning of the day. And even if you have a really bad day, you kind of come home and you see your bed made and you feel like, okay, well, you know, <laughs> it was a bad day, but I have a nicely made bed and I did that well and tomorrow's another day. Um, so I, I like that. You know, I don't have a Navy SEAL background, but I can make a bed and it does help you feel more together for the day. So I thought that was a really good kind of lesson. Um, he goes on to talk a little bit more about all these different glimpses into his life. Um, some of the stories are sad. Um, he talks about attending funerals for fallen comrades, which was hard to read. Um, and he experiences a pretty horrific parachuting accident that almost ends his career. And that was kind of hard to read. Um, but he talks about how um, hope and courage and determination really played a big part in each of those situations, um, which we can all kind of empathize with. So um, I thought that each of those stories was really good. There are some funny stories as well. He talks about becoming a sugar cookie as part of his consequences. Um, I will let you read about what that is. I thought that was kind of interesting. And um, he also talks about one night where he had to spend um, with all of his teammates in these mud flats. Um, they were just buried up to their necks in really cold, wet mud for the entire night. And they had to persevere. And they did that by singing. Um, so I thought that was a really good moment in the story or in the, in the book as well. So overall, I think this is a really great read. Um, I think that it contains something for everybody. Uh, I think... Even if you don't have that kind of background, you can empathize with some of the things that he talks about and maybe learn something and change the world. Um, so, like I said, themes are self-respect, determination, and courage. Uh, I want to suggest my read-alikes, The River by Gary Paulson. I chose this because a lot of the um, life lessons that Admiral McRaven talks about are applied in this book um, about Brian. If you read Hatchet, um, this is kind of a sequel to that. And I chose a nonfiction book about Navy SEALs because a lot of the book had to do with um, Navy SEAL training. So I thought if you're interested in that and you want to learn more, you might want to pick this up. So with that, I hope you found something to book up your week. Thanks, everyone.